Okay, hello everyone. Right, now <clears throat> what I suggest you do, first of all, is get a cup of tea or, or a cup of coffee or something to drink. And, because this is going to be a long one. Now, I was umming and ahhing about doing this. In fact, I did a short one last night, which I've now deleted, because I decided this needed a longer, more in-depth video. Now, I, I really didn't want to go on about this ISO issue and um, this uh, uh, um, straight out of camera, uh, you know, this little spat we seem to have going. Um, it, it's not a spat as far as I'm concerned. In one of my previous videos, I had a, a 17 comment conversation with him. Um, and I did ask him to get back to me as to what Nikon had said to him. He claims to have contacted Nikon. Well, he's never he's never got back to me as to what Nikon has said, if they've said anything, if he even contacted them. Uh, we, we don't know because he doesn't say. Um, now, I notice, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to play a video, his latest video. Um, it was a couple of days ago. I only noticed it last night. Um, and when I watched it, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I did find it quite amusing. I, but it, it's a dig at me. It's definitely a dig at me. And but more, and I don't care. I don't, don't care if he wants to have a dig at me. But it's a dig at you guys. It's a dig at my subscribers, and anybody that may have shared any of my thoughts on this whole ISO issue. And that to me, and, and it's not just a dig on that, it's actually, he's having a dig on, on society, especially society, if you're younger than 42, um, it's a dig at you as well. So he's probably having a dig at his own, at his own subscribers, or a certain amount of them. Um, so he, <laughs> he, he's definitely a weird one. Um, so I thought, uh, I was going to let this go, and I thought, no, I can't. And I want you to stay around till the end, because I'm actually found something within, within this camera that may be considered a bug, uh, which he doesn't seem to have noticed, because he's not mentioned it, um, that I've, I've found anyway. Um, and one of those is thanks to... Tomasa243, one of my subscribers, um, or, well, he, he, he made a comment, and it was on something, actually, I was aware of, and I had completely forgotten about. I would for completely forgotten about, but he brought that to my attention in the comments of my last video. So, thank you for that. Um, I will go through this that at, at, at the end. I will be going through that at the end because this this is quite important and this is something I will be feeding back to Nikon um, because I, I think they need to know this um, and we'll see what, what, what's said of that. So I'm, I'm going to play you this video. This is about 10 minutes long. I've got a lot to say. Um, and, it, you know, when you watch this video, listen, listen to the way he speaks. It's very condescending, very condescending. Uh, he, he reminds me of Meghan Markle, actually. He's um, he's like a self-righteous, supercilious narcissist. And, and that's exactly how this guy comes across to me. Um, he, he really is, you know, thinks he's God's gift to the world. And he, he's clearly not, but, you know, he thinks he is. Um, and you, you just listen to the tone, the way he, he talks. It, it, it is so condescending. He, he really is a, a, an oddball. But as I say, I couldn't let this go. So we're going to go through this video. And, um, you know, he, he talks quite a bit of bollocks for about four minutes. Uh, just going over the same thing using a silly restaurant analogy. But... Um, well, we'll, we'll um, go through this, and uh, and I'll come back to the camera at the end of it. So anyway, let's begin. 
talking raw, just whatever's on my mind. And what's on my mind right now is complain. Don't apologize. You know, you go to a restaurant and the food is bad. Okay, th this is the first part. Yeah, if you can see his... Um, it says, all you pushover apologists are the problem. That, that's the title of his video. Now, apologists? Who, who's who's apologising? Now, this is aimed at anybody that thinks... This is clearly, as, as we go through the video, you will clearly understand that he... This is what he thinks of anybody that disagrees with him. This is basically it. Anybody that thinks this camera is fine as it is and doesn't have a problem with the way it works, you're 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 you're, you're a wrong person. You're a bad person. This is what he's saying, huh? And that this is what this guy is saying about you. Anyway, we'll carry on. So many people today, incorrect people. We'll just... There you go. Incorrect people. Incorrect. Who does he think he is? Who does this guy think he is? Meghan Markle. Male version. Narcissist. Supercilious. Self-righteous prat. <laughs> up or... or uh not complain and uh, just maybe not eat it all and they'll just not have a good experience but they'll still pay and be nice to the the waitress oh yeah everything's fine blah 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 <laughs> no fuck that you know why because then the next customer comes in after you and they receive that same bad experience and all of a sudden, the restaurant is out of business. Huh, why is that? Oh, it's because the, the lanes of communication were not two-way. There was no correct and proper complaining. No feedback. Okay, so basically what he's saying is people like me and some of you guys who got this camera um, have worked out how to use it we don't find having this dial at the top an issue um so we, we and anybody that, that's fine with this we've got a problem we, we should be complaining because he thinks there's something wrong or not quite right but the thing is we have done i mean you, you've seen the letters you i've told you about the responses from nikon so I have complained or, or mentioned to Nikon something that could be improved. So that's not accepting. And I'm sure I'm one of many people that have done exactly the same thing. So I'm not exactly sure who he's aiming this video at. I'm, because, or is he, you see, but this is what a narcissist does. He's completely choosing to ignore the fact people have contacted Nikon and have, you know, uh, said there's an issue or there's something that could be better with the camera, right? He's ignoring all that. He's completely ignoring that because he's a narcissist and he wants to be right and he has to be right. So he's ignoring the evidence, he's ignoring the facts. He's just going on some kind of ridiculous rant because that's what people like him do oh that's not me <laughs> when i go to a restaurant and i'm sitting especially now you know with the prices being you see he's the on he's the only one that complains but although he reckons he's the only one that complains why hasn't he got back to me and told me what nick and i've said because he hasn't mentioned his his he, 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 in one of my videos, we have, as I said before, we have a, a 17 comment conversation. In those comments that he makes, he says he's contacted Nikon. So why hasn't he mentioned what Nikon have said then? What's he hiding? Why wouldn't you share that with, with 
your audience. Uh, come on, Mr. Cameraman, why, why, why haven't you? Oh, inflated. Uh, you know, you go get a, a steak now, and it's it, it could be like the base price of oh, like. Th this bit gets a bit boring because he just drivels on about this silly restaurant analogy. Six dollars or, or forty-five dollars. Um, if it's not amazing, if it's dry, uh, dude, I am complaining. I'm not paying for it. You know, something's going to happen that makes them change their ways. And that. Okay, so if he's not going to pay for it, why has he still got it then? Because this was done less than 48 hours ago. So why has he still got this camera if it's so bad? Me being mean, that's me being nice. I'm, concer I'm concerned about the customer that comes after me. And guess what? The business owner, who do they appreciate? The customer that says nothing, or the customer that that correctly takes their time to point. Actually, if you're a business owner, he's the kind of customer you'd smack straight in the face. <laughs> what is objectively incorrect, so that there can, a correction can be made, so that the business can improve. Well, obviously, it's obvious, right? The business owner wants that proper feedback so they can make the steps to improve okay so where's your feedback then mr straight out of camera where's your feedback what did nikon say to you i keep my viewers up to date i, I tell them what nikon have said my, nikon have informed me they're doing something about it what, what what have they said to you nothing by all accounts so where's your feedback so he's a hypocrite as well. To improve their company, to improve their product, right? So without critical thinking, pushed back at the companies, everything just goes on a decline into idiocracy, in which no one's thinking and just accepting this is just the way it is. And, and uh, now, I mean, what's he going on about here? He, He's talking about a whole industry now. Uh, he, uh, he's doing a good job at proving me right, anyway. Thanks. And, uh, you know, so so many years ago, these smart people built these machines. and You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a gradual decline unless there's this proper complaining to, you know, two-way communication between a producer and a consumer. And this thing about me calling the Nikon ZF's um, lower precedence of the hardware dial over the software configuration, that is incorrect because it logically makes the dial to no effect. If I right, now, now you see that this is typical self-righteous narcissistic um, attitude you know because the dial doesn't work the way he thinks it should it's wrong there is no there is no nuance way of looking at this in in his mind it is just bad it is just wrong now but what he seems to forget is most people agree with him you know even i've said it myself this dial should override everything else you know, but he says it's basically useless. Well, it isn't, because if you use it in manual mode, it's fully functional and works as it should. It's only in automatic mode does it not work. Now, I would agree with him. And again, I've pointed this out several times that it should override. But again, and I think most people have, but yet again, he ignores that. He's trying to make out he's the only one in the whole world that has pointed this out. See, it's his idea. It's his. Nobody else's, nobody else thought of this apart from him. That's what he wants you to believe. Took this off. The functionality of the camera would have no change. 
So I am 100% absolutely correct in my stance that the dial should have overriding precedence over what the camera considers the current configuration for ISO. Say it. Just, just, just know that that is correct and that the, the producer in this case, Nikon, they're not some god upon the mountain that you can't reach and, and call out as being wrong. No, he, he thinks he's the god upon the mountain. <laughs> They're just people. And so you, in the mate. case of a big, <laughs> mega big company like Nikon, they're rushed people. They're, they're just trying to do their job people. So they're not as... But you see, even this is quite insulting. Because Nikon, are, are Jap it's a Japanese company, isn't it? Like most of these cameras. And the Japanese have a different way of thinking things. You know, they're, they're exceptionally good at making cameras. That's why they're the main players. And But they don't think necessarily the, the way we do. So, you know, it's, it, they have a different culture to us. But he, he, he doesn't understand that either. He, he thinks everybody should be like an American, you know, which is, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but a lot of Americans do seem to think like that, that the rest of the world should be like them. Uh, thank God we're not, because we'd be shooting each other all the time. Absolutely laser focused on discovering problems with their product, as even I am. So complain, don't apologize. Never apologize for a company. Again, he's obsessed with people apologizing. Now, I think this is aimed at people like, because we haven't made a big song and dance about this issue, or we've just got on with it and worked out how to use this camera because we, we it's not an issue. You're, you're an apologist. That's quite demeaning, isn't it? it it's, it's, you know, <laughs> quite insulting. So he, he, you know, um, I mean, I might be insulting him a bit in this, but I'm not insulting his audience. I'm not insulting his subscribers. Um, but he's insulting everyone. Everyone that doesn't necessarily agree with him. I see so many people, especially in this, uh, you know, Japan uh, monopolized photography hardware market just apologizing for how the companies are doing things, when clearly there's countless logic flaws and just shitty things they do. Uh, obviously, the, the one, one example is the Canon cripple hammer, right? They just, un, or they're sorry, they just restrict things for no reason. Countless of examples I could come up with. So, so complain, 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 complain. You know, if some if the company is not heeding your complaints, get up and don't pay for that meal. Just say, "Oh, I'm not paying for this." Well, and now he's a hypocrite. Why hasn't he sent it back then? <laughs> Why has he paid for it? Why hasn't he sent it back? See, he's telling you you should be doing something that he's not prepared to do himself. Is that not a Meghan Markle trait? Be clean with the planet while I get on my private jet. Uh, there you go. You see, he's exactly the same. A male form of Meghan Markle. Hypocrite. Don't buy the camera. Switch to a different system. Because then that makes the camera companies realize that people are actually discriminate. And wanting something that they need. And to, to fall back on this this uh, insane logic flaw here. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not going to uh, apologize and then like certain people and be like, oh, the ah, see, like certain people. Who's that aimed at? I mean, he hasn't mentioned my name. Of course he won't. 
people like him don't have the balls to mention names, but they just like to dig quietly. But I, I, I've pointed these things out to Nikon, so I'm not apologising, am I? I'm not, how am I an apologist? I'm, I'm sure some of my audience and a lot of other people have contacted Nikon and say, look, this could be better, blah, blah, blah. That's not apologising. That's pointing out what, what you think could be improved. I'm just not obsessed that this is some kind of bug because, again, the the, the definition of a bug is, is something that's malfunctioning. You know, it, like, if that uh, dial wasn't working at all, that would be a bug. If it just didn't function full stop, that would be a bug. But it does function, and in manual mode, it, it's just not meant to override... The, that 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 was done by design. Now that may be wrong. That may not have been the best way of doing it. But nevertheless, that's not a bug because that was done intentionally. A bug is something if it malfunctions or you know doesn't work correctly. But he he still doesn't understand that. That's just the way Nikon wants it. No. Fuck that. They are logically incorrect. And it needs to be called out and fixed. If I've got the camera in auto ISO, and my physical hand in reality reaches down and goes, oh no, I want to be on 400. I sh See the way he talks, my physical hand. Uh, it's so condescending. I mean, this is a guy you'd want to smack in the mouth if he spoke to you like this. I'm sorry, but you would. Eat on 400, period. That is a logically sound, undeniably... <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that that's undeniable. If, if a physical hand is going, yeah, I want to be on 800, well, there, there shouldn't be some, some, uh, some software configuration. It's like, no, oh, no, we're not going to let you do that. No. This is a human taking action in physical reality that clearly takes precedence over whatever the software configuration is. And there's many ways to solve this. You could say, um, as soon as it deviates away, if auto ISO was on, it is obvious now that at this time, the human wants it off. So toggle it off automatically. Wow! <laughs> Is that too big brain? <laughs> I think so for a lot of people. Like, the sky... There you go. Another insult, another dig. You know, oh, that's too much for a lot of people. Well, but no, that's what we've been saying all along. I've actually agreed with him on this point. And so's a lot of people, but he's ignoring that because that's not a dig. He can't have a dig at you if you're agreeing with him. I've said this from the beginning that the di uh, this dial should override auto ISO. We we've all said that. Most people have said that, but he can't. He doesn't want that to be. You know that th this is a dig. And if if you. He cannot admit that we've agreed with him at any point, in any way whatsoever, because then his dig becomes invalid, and narcissists can't allow that to happen. Limited in terms of software, well, and technically hardware too, but uh, these big companies don't want to make too big of a leap from one generation to the next. Um, so yeah, think big, never apologize, and be the actual good guy. That's right. Complain. And you are... Oh, the actual good guy. So anybody that doesn't agree with him are bad. So you're bad. If you don't agree with this scenario, if you don't agree with this in any shape or form, you are a bad person. Wow. Not some, so being a complainer is not a bad thing. I mean, if you're, if you're just calling stuff out as stuff that needs to be fixed, just, there's no emotions. Here is, a, here is something that is incorrect and ready for correction. <laughs> oh my God, this whole 
retarded generation that came after me. See, I was born in 81, but everyone that's born in like the mid 90s or, or you know, 2000, they're fucking gone, dude. They're like unable to critically think and apply their, their de deduced conclusion to the real world. No, this whole... Right, uh, uh, did you hear that correctly? Now, he's insulting anybody that's under the age of about 42. Well, I'm glad, uh, so maybe he's not talking about me because I'm quite a bit older than 42. So <laughs> he's actually not including me. He, but he probably is including a lot of his own sub subscribers and probably a lot of mine as well. In fact, he's, uh, I don't know, what, what's the percentage of people un under uh, 42? Probably half the world, I should imagine, roughly. So there's a good chunk of the, the world that he thinks are basically stupid. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think he's showing himself up to be what he really is, don't you? Uh, I mean, <laughs> this guy really is something special, isn't he? <laughs> Retarded generation yeah. that came after me. Yeah, so let's play this again. One, but everyone that's born in like the mid 90s or, or you know, 2000, they're fucking gone, dude. They're like unable to critically think and apply their their de deduced conclusion to the real world no try to do that and you will be profiting off of your critical thinking yeah so complain 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 start off complaining nice and if you're ignored be mean about it if you have to if you want to sometimes it's fun and then when the the highest up manager gets word that oh so and so's complaint has been ignored 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 and of course the customer is is uh, angry now and guess what that's when heads roll that's when people need to get fired so he wants people fired over this uh, i mean is this bloke well <laughs> I mean, we're talking about a dial on the camera here, and he wants sackings now. He wants, uh, he wants company heads to roll. You know, I, I mean, God, uh, like I've said before, is this that big a deal? Is is, is this, you know, oh, does the camera not work? Can you not take pictures with it without this dial? Um, overriding um, Ultimo ISO uh, I mean hello narcissist self-righteous my god there's a lot of words that apply to this guy people that people that actually listen to customers need to replace them okay that's my video about Complain, don't apologize. Never become an apologist. Take emotion out of the equation. When dealing with technical things, correctness is discernible. So there, there you go. I mean, my oh God, this, this guy is, he's one piece of work, isn't he? He's... <laughs> He's quite hilarious. He certainly likes making a prat of himself. Um, that's for sure. And uh, congratulations straight out of camera because you've certainly achieved that. Um. <laughs> but there's something he hasn't noticed. Right, let's get back to the camera. Okay. Can we see this? Uh, let me take this over here because it might be easier to see. Um, let me just drop this down. Oh, starting the dogs off now. Okay, um, this is something he doesn't seem to have noticed, which uh, was pointed out to me yesterday. Okay, which may. Okay, now I've got this, as you can see, in auto. Okay. 
Now, if I turn the dial here, oh no, it's not, it's not, am I? Um, hang on, bear with me. Oh yeah, this, this is one thing. Oh, well. Oh. Um, hang on, bear, bear with me. I don't know what's going on there. Move focus point over. Right, well, I'm going to do that. Um... Oh yeah, that's it. Alright, okay. Now I've put the dial, sorry, I didn't know what I was doing then. I've put this dial in auto. Now, if I change the dial, look. It overrides. So in full auto mode, this works. He doesn't seem to have noticed that, by the way, has he? I don't recall him mentioning that. So then I would question... Um, well, why doesn't it override in anything else? Because if you put it in P, I can't remember if I mentioned this before. I really can't. Yeah, see, nothing happens. So in full auto mode, it will work. So it will work in full auto or full manual. But it won't in the others. So that I would question. So I will be um, um, talking to... Uh, Nick on about that. Uh, there was something else I did. Oh, no. Uh, touch AF. Okay. No. Uh. Oh, no, I don't, don't want... Now, I'm not sure... How did I do that yesterday? Have, have I touched... Now... Oh, right. Now, what happened yesterday, I haven't, don't seem to have it on now. I don't know what I've done. But if I touch the autofocus on the touch screen, it would change it. Um, have a touch FN. Have I mucked about with that somehow? You know, oh, it's off. That's why. Uh no. Oh, I'm not sure what I've done. I might have to come back to you on that bit. But, um, yeah, what did I do? Uh, touch oven, wide orientation. Yeah, um, okay. I've, I don't know what I've done here. Touch AF, no. Move focus point. Well, I definitely want that. Um, but when I put the touch screen on and I touch the auto ISO, um, it it would change it just by touching the the um, touch screen. So obviously th th there is something. Why, why does it override in full auto mode and it doesn't override it in anything else? Um, so that's something I'm going to get on to Nick on about, most definitely. Um, so there you go. I will be writing to Nick on again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry that this was a long one. Um, but as I say, I, I, I just felt I, I had to call that out. When I, when I watched that video of his, I thought, my God, you know, the, 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 this man's not well. And I, I couldn't let that go. I know he, he will probably say, oh, it's got nothing to do with me. Um, I, I was, you know, you, you saw a figure, he doesn't mention names, obviously. But um, he's certainly aim, aiming this at not just me, he's aiming this at a lot of people. So, um, uh, to me, the guy's got a problem. But um, there you go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Till the next one.